Hi folks, Puffin here on the Fairy Liberation Front and just a fairy ring on Halloween 2022. I went to the herb store and got this herb um, and you can see it's called Lilac and then on the way home past a trick-or-treater. The first trick-or-treater I saw was a tiny Captain America which makes me hope that herb will be free and legal all over America. used this lighter to light it which is Lilac can't tell in the light. And then we turned around and noticed that it has Rudolph or a reindeer, flying reindeer on it, and the person I was smoking with was dressed as Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for Halloween. Um, saw a porky pig and a police officer Halloween costumes at the Target uh, that day, and um, then passed a few weeks ago past Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and made the comment that the Simpsons had made a joke on Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, um, which I don't know if they had at that time or not. I'm pretty sure they had. But then after that, saw the not it version of The Simpsons where they make another joke on Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Um, so, yeah, that's humorous and bears mentioning. And then today, as I was cleaning up my room, I found some art and poetry that I wrote, and I'm going to read you some of these poems soon. And a um, spell or <laughs> magical process for eradicating Trump and Trumpism. And, uh, and I'll be reading you that real soon, too. And then I found a text from Dahl, the poet and artist um, that I met at Denver Pagan Pride Festival, on my phone. And so this is all very inspiring for me to do some more art and poetry, which are the best routes into fairyland. Um, as we very well, all routes are good routes to fairyland if you're looking for fairies, because everything is fairies. But um, art and poetry are some of our easiest, best, funnest, most magical uh, ways. Art, poetry, and just writing. Writing fairy tales. So I encourage you to write fairy tales, too. Thank you. Oh, and check out my uh, upcoming book of dragon fairy tales that will be coming out soon, hopefully. Thank you.